Christ, man ready for the vibe Send two bottles on ice yes. He's on a million and nine Boom. That's the pie That's the pie That's the pie we're here with Bespoke Magazine. We talk about music, sports, fashion, everything. So we've got to give you the bigs of the big, and here we are with Big Nasty. Tell us about who you are and what, what you do. Um, I do a lot of stuff. You do? You've got your hands in many honey jars. 100%. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I'm a businessman. Yeah, yeah. Um, entertainer. Yeah, actor. I'm, I'm like a fat Denzel washer. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? That's nothing too bad. I think we can handle that. And I'm a motivational speaker for the people. Yes, I know. But I want to hear all about this because now, am I allowed to say, I think I need to start with saying, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hi. How's it doing? <laughs> was, I was probably wasn't as good as you when you do it. <laughs> good, go good go. Good go. So um, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. What everyone will know about you is your new EP that you have coming out. So this is what everyone really wants to know about. So. Please tell us all about it because this is what this is the big thing now. Um, yes, I'm ready for the vibe. Mm -hmm. um, it's doing a lot. I, I said hello in a lot of different languages just to basically breach the gap because mm -hmm. I think because I'm from London, even in the sense of like talking about outside of London, because mm -hmm. a lot of London people. We don't really look how, how big our country is. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. London, we're, we're like 3%. Up north, Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Scotland, it goes crazy, man. So, and I think a lot of people are scared to say hello. That's true. Do you know what I mean? If like, you said hi to people in London, they'd probably just um, look at you like you're crazy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, hello needs to be said of much more. Yeah, no, I, I mean, agree. It's the icebreaker. <laughs> how do you say? How do you like get that first connection with a pretty girl across the room? You gotta say hi to them. Exactly. With a cheeky wink. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Trust me. So uh, tell me where your journey started. Like, where are you from, and how is where you from kind of shaped who you are today, basically? I'm I'm from Brixton, South London, <laughs> Acre Lane. Um, I started off in, in house parties. Was a kid in the block. We got Pastor Chris. Um, he made face to face our youth centre. We've got I've got my my area. The first pair of decks. Excellent. Do you know what I mean? And from there, it took up. I had my own radio station in South London called On Top of Them. That was with my crew in WA. Um, and it just spiraled from there. I'm kind of one of the fortunate ones because, like, I'll. I'm the prime example of being at the right place at the right time, but being talented. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for dad. So it just took from there, and then I was like, bro, I like this stuff. But I, first <laughs> I thought, like this, I can get down with this. Definitely. <laughs> I saw Paige you go in the um, in fridge and chilling, mm -hmm. and that's like 2002. Oh, I used to rave in fridge. <laughs> so I tried to say, in chilling, and then I was like, bro, I heard Major Ace, and I was like, this is sick, man. Like, this is my type of thing. Because, like, I was big on them. I'm a yardie. So, before I got really into grime, it was Bear Ragger. Mm -hmm. Sunday, you watch Sting in my house. Ninja Man vs. Merciless and that. Super Cat. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, when I started getting into grime and that, it was a, it was a very different from my, my normal culture and heritage. Mm. So, but it's energy. Yeah, no, of course. Most of our viewers know you um, from being with NAA and with your work with Soul and everything. How did that kind of get you to the point where you're at now that you're kind of recognised artist in, in your own name? Um, it just built to my history and my catalogue. Like, with NAA we had loads of music and stuff and it was a very big, powerful pioneer group in South London. Mm -hmm. Like, through Untop and my rave Top Boy put on a lot of MCs from South London. So it just all kind of just built into my catalogue. It's like, see, yeah, it's like a tree. Like, a lot of trees are artificial, mm. so there's no roots. So that's why the tree don't last long. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've got so much roots in that, I can provide you with cuttings forever. Do you know what I mean? Because I've always got something growing and something was sprouting off. I like that. That's nice. <laughs> it's the bonsai way. Master Shadosh. No other ones there. I got my FIFA guy. 
Well, this is what I mean, because well, this is what I want to talk about. Like, it's quite interesting because grime right now is really like on the up. Like, if there's so many new artists coming out, Stormzy, Novelist, uh, uh, Section Boys, everyone, there's lots of things. Like, how would you, like, what's your take on this? Even Kanye put on grime, and you know, you see in the Brit Awards and the Grill or everyone, like, everyone's kind of talking about it. So, where do you feel like you kind of, what's your take on this that we're kind of soaring now with grime? And that's your roots. Um. Like what my brother just said just a minute ago off camera, it's 50-50. Like, some parts of it is good, and some parts of it is um, degrading. Mm. Like, it's like, how can I say? Um, put it like this. Grime has been a little dirty, the dirty secret, the dirty mistress for a long time. Mm. Now, Grime has got a man. You get what I mean? So, boom. Grime's trying to be bossy and flowing. Mm. Do you get me? But now, at the same time, <laughs> it's just terminology, okay? Just, yeah, yeah, no, I'm liking it. Carry on. But then, uh, <laughs> at the same time, the man who she thinks is really a man, he just looks at her as a baddest, though. Mm. Because he can't let the past go. Mm. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Where it is like. Because, yeah, a lot of guys sold out, dashed in their chips. Now they see that the, the, the tree is bearing fruit. Man, I just hopped back on. You get what I mean? So, I'm is always. It's not good though? Is it? It's, it's good. It's. But it's what your intentions is with what the thing is. It's like. You gotta look, yeah. I've been doing music from like 16. Mm. Yeah? From the people who got my first ever mixtape, raw materials, it's a community based, um, like sh studio record label thing. Yeah? They gave me 10,000 blank CDs. Yeah? Yeah. I spat for 45 minutes over Grime Instrumentals with DJ Suicide. Yeah? From NAA. I gave them out with no CD cover. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? That was my first ever thing I ever put out, and then with no CD cover, just ten thousand blank CDs. Oh, you know what God. I mean? It's the hustle. You get me? You're yeah. not paying for it. You just get that in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from that from that first stage there to then doing all the NWA stuff, pirate radio station. We're talking like six hours on radio, NWA Sundays. Mm. Yeah. So I've dedicated from age of 16 to then even say 22 mm -hmm. in promoting myself as a grime artist and making people take time out of their day to spend time on me and even acknowledge my music as a yeah. grime artist and then I just say no I'm gonna do funky house because that's a quicker way to make money then what was the point of doing all of that stuff in the first place that's true yeah you've got to stick with how you, know you came I mean? originally yeah now if Tupac and Biggie did what a lot of people have done... Oh, we're going deep now. Where would you go? <laughs> uh, let's think of it like this. If Biggie and, his, and Tupac and LL Cool J and Russell Simmons one day said, we're going to try hip-hop, mm. the first two type of singles they put out didn't sell. And cool. then they gave up, we never have it. Yeah, I see that. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. But... This is what happens with grime. Grime still not, you can't even go into our local English Tesco's and see grime. No. It's under urban. But soon we will though. Exactly. Soon we will. That's why it's interesting. BDL, baby. <laughs> now, um, I've got to say, my favorite thumbs of yours would have to be Gas Pipe and Brush Band. I know we're going back, but I like that. So with your new stuff that you got, um, how do you think that compares to, what, are you still like sticking with the same flavor that you came with when you originally started or what's going on? Um, my album is going to be very bipolar. Okay. You get me? Be like a bit crazy, that's all right. 100%. <laughs> but in the sense of like, I'm not trying to just stick on one thing. I'm like, what people see is, when I see music, like, a man will say, I'm going to be a road man, so all I'm going to spit about is road. Mm. Or I'm going to be a gallus, and all I'm going to spit about is chicks. Me, I, I see myself as a bit of both. Like, as much as I do my stuff, I, 
appreciate a buff chick watching a good Netflix with a guy that's holding the meds. So why yeah, Netflix and chill. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so but why shouldn't I spit about that? Because that's not hardcore. Even Scarface is in the jacuzzi trying to turn up. Do you get what I mean? So who am I not to, who am I not to try and turn up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? My thing is like... But we're spitting about real stuff, everyday stuff course. that happens, yeah. And the only way you can do that is by putting yourself out there. It's like, no matter where you come from or whoever you mean, as people and human beings, we all share some little inklings, same things. Like I said earlier, when I was younger, I was scared to eat in front of girls. Mm. Like, now look at you. Look, hey. I eat, I eat home. And then you said, I used to be like that. We've come a long way. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but as, as a simple basics as that, it doesn't seem like much. It is something. Because yeah. obviously, when we say, oh, but you're nasty, you shouldn't be scared to eat in front of people. But, bro, I wasn't nasty all the time, I was tired. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And Mika, Mika's hot. You know what I mean? But she could still be thinking, I don't want to see a guy making me see the ketchup on the side of my face. No, it shows we're real now. That's what I it was. is. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs>